I'm going to teach you how to make textured paste. This stuff is fantastic. It works great with stencils. It works um, really well with mixed media art. So many possibilities. Super simple, super easy recipe. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial today um, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. And this is what you're going to need to create your project. Some stencils, a tablespoon, a plastic container, I'm going to use some acrylic paint. You can also use latex paint, Elmer's school glue, and some baking soda. The first thing you're going to do is add three tablespoons of baking soda. I've tried a lot of different recipes and I prefer this one with the baking soda. Um, I've seen other girls do it with the, the baby powder, but I prefer this one. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of the Elmer's school glue. And this recipe will save in an airtight um, container. So if you have some left over after you've done your project, seal it up really well with a lid and it'll stay really good for a long time. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of your paint of choice. I'm using acrylic, but you can also use a latex paint or a chalk paint. And then you want to stir really well, incorporate all those ingredients all together. And what this textured paste does is when you apply it to a project, it leaves a raised finish. And there's so many possibilities with it. I've seen it used on furniture, on signs, on um, paper. You just get can be so creative with it. A lot of people use this um, textured paste and for their mixed media art, it's very popular. And this is the texture sh that it should be when it's completely um, all mixed together. It's almost like a tar mixture. And if you want it thicker, you can always add a little bit more baking soda, or if you want it thinner, you can always thin it out. It's your preference of how much of a texture you want in your paste. Now the project that I'm going to do today, I'm going to use my stencils and create three tiles for a wall hanging. Um, I got these stencils off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below. They were a fantastic deal and you get 12 different um, Mandela kind of uh, graphics. Now to make sure that my stencils um, stay adhered to my wood tiles really well, I'm going to use a little bit of the spray adhesive. It just helps hold it down a little bit. You don't have to do this step. You can tape your stencil down or if you're comfortable, you can just hold it really steady when you apply the paste. And to apply the paste, I like to use a little credit card. I find that I have a, um, a lot of uh, control with that. I've seen girls use some putty knives or scrapers. Um, I prefer the credit card. Make sure you have your stencil completely in the center of your project, press it down firmly, and then we're ready to put on the paste. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on that credit card and then just scrape it over the top of that stencil. And you don't want to scrape it right down, you want to have some texture to it. So you want it on quite thick and just drag it right across until you get to the bottom. And you want to make sure you have your paste distributed evenly so it's not high in one spot and low in the other. And that's what I like about the credit card is you can kind of feel if there's any high spots and you can get it nice and smooth. Now it's kind of hard with the camera, but as you can see, it's kind of got a thick texture over the top of that whole stencil. And now comes the fun part. Peel away that stencil and look at the beautiful graphic that you have on that piece of wood. And you can see the raised texture on the stencil. And don't worry about it kind of dripping off on the ends. We're going to clean that up afterwards. But isn't this fantastic? Okay, and now I'm going to work away on my other two tiles. I'm going to have the recipe at the end of the video, so hang out until the end, take a screenshot of it, and you can save it in your files.
I have all three of my wooden tiles done. I'm gonna set them aside and let them dry thoroughly. Now here's a little tip or trick. Don't take those stencils down and wash all that paste off it yet. Put it on a piece of paper, press it down, use up that paint, and then you have some really pretty paper that you can use on some other projects another day. I like pressing down the stencil a couple different times, get all the paint off of it, because each time it gives it a little bit of a different look. These little imprints would be great for making cards or um, doing any mixed media art. And these are all the little pieces that I created with all the stencils that I used. So pretty. Okay, these wooden tiles have completely dried and I took my sand, uh, my sandpaper, and I cleaned up all of the edges where the, the paint had dripped off a little bit. And now we're ready to finish off the project. It's really hard to show you the raised um, stencils on the camera, but it really does create a really nice texture with this paste. And I found an old piece of barn board that fit three of these tiles perfectly. So I'm gonna glue them down onto the board, put a hanger on the back, and I think it's gonna look wonderful hung on the wall. And I'm just gonna glue them down with my hot glue gun. I like the Gorilla Glue Sticks and it bonds really well, so that's what I'm using today. And it's all finished and I can't wait to hang it up on the wall. And as I said before, these stencils, I've put the link um, down in my description. They're available on Amazon. There's 12 of them in the pack and these mandelas are, are gorgeous. So if you haven't tried making texture paste before and using it in your crafts, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Make sure to take a screenshot of this so you can save it in your files for when you want to use it. Thanks so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos so if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.